Hi, this is Chef Joel here, and today uh, it's a very exciting cooking session. We are cooking grilled chicken with smoked chili sauce. Then we are making a uh, fish fish kebab with uh, sweet chili sauce. We are making a uh, fish grilled fish with uh, naga spice blend, and we are making salads as well as we have uh, on a sweet note we have dessert. So. I'll be showing you step by step process how everything is. Here, a uh, fillet of fish which we have uh, cleaned the skin, the bones, and this is boneless fish. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate this fish with some salt, ginger, garlic paste, and naga spice blend. So, we take one spoon of ginger, garlic paste and then one spoon of the naga spice blend then we add some chili salt and then we cut some lemon and take some oil and then we massage the fish we have take we have cleaned the uh, chicken and the bones are already taken out so that the, it's easy for us to grill it and then what we're gonna do is uh, we have the chili sauce which is already ready then we have ginger garlic paste oil salt so first first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some ginger garlic paste and some chili powder not too much because afterwards we're gonna add again and then we're gonna take some salt and some oil and we'll massage the chicken again and then we'll let it marinate for some time after that when we are grilling it what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a sauce out of the smoked chili and some ketchup and we're gonna brush brush the chicken when we are grilling it so we have here uh, minced fish which we have already taken out from the fillet and then we are going to marinate this and make it into fish kebabs. So we will add some lemon juice so when you are adding the lemon juice it will act as uh, it will cook the fish a little bit also so we add some salt chili powder and then ginger garlic paste and we're gonna make this fish kebab a little sweet by adding sweet chili sauce So we have our marinated chicken ready and we're gonna be grilling it in the pan so skin skin side first
So uh, we have here the fish which we have put into skewers and uh, this would probably take uh, two, two to three minutes on each side to cook since it's cut very slantwise. So we'll and this has to be cooked on a low medium heat so that uh, it's evenly cooked and it doesn't get burned. taken the pan and then we have uh, put the fish kebab so we will we'll cook the fish kebab at a very moderate temperature so that it's evenly cooked and it's not burned and we'll from time to time we'll make it sure that it's uh, then we have uh, kebab it will take very less time to cook but then you have to make sure that it's cooked in a very low temperature because the kebabs has a tendency of uh, cooking very fast uh, since uh, since childhood like I've uh, been very fond of cooking even in school days, I used to call my friends home and we used to cook. The first thing that I knew how to cook was uh, chicken chili. That was the thing that I used to cook and then everybody, all my friends, when, I, when we have holidays or something like that, we used to always, they used to always come at my home and we used to cook and have. Then also, uh, I had a, we had a kitchen helper who used to I, I always used to see her cooking and then that's that's how I, it got me interested to cook. I've taken uh, squash. Squash is a very underrated, uh, underrated uh, vegetable because uh, if we come to think of squash, when we go to the village, they think like uh, we, we always know squash as Gauri Dana, but then pigs, pigs dinner, but then I wanted to elevate the simple ingredients that we find abundantly all over the hill, hill areas. So uh, what I've done is I've cut uh, the squash into julienne's and then I've blanched, blanched it in hot water. Then I've uh, put it in ice cold water to give it a shock and then that's how I've got this strands of beautiful uh, uh, squash in my hand. Well, Normally, you name it a squash over here in Nagaland, whereas uh, technically it's called shayote or even uh, uh, it's called chow chow. So this uh, underrated vegetable has got a lot of name. So I'm going to be mixing the squash with some 
julienne of carrots favorite dish to cook uh, my all time favorite is going to be uh, we have in in from my mother's tribe uh, angami i have a special very found dish which is called uh, tsugu so that is uh, basically angami soya bean with smoked pork and it's a very uh, very simple dish to make but then uh, you give me any day of that dish and I'm, I'll be happy to eat. So what I've done is I've roasted the perilla seed and then I've pounded it to make it a powder and I'm going to be adding into the, the salad. Then we add some salt and then we add some lemon. And then we have this uh, cherry tomato, which is locally found over here. So I have some of this here. Then I will mix this. And also to give this salad a little sweet no note, we have uh, sweet chili sauce which we have chili, garlic, and the sweetness and vinegar to it. So I'm gonna be adding this to the salad. So it's basically kind of like a Thai salad, but this is our own Naga version of a salad using squash. So, kitchen appliances, uh, uh, knife because without a knife I cannot do anything so that will be the biggest kitchen app appliances that I have because uh, anything to do with cutting chopping um, uh, making shapes sizes out of uh, any vegetables you need to have a knife without the knife you cannot do anything so the salad is almost ready what I'm gonna do is uh, any salad that we make, we have to make it more presentable because we we first see it with our eyes, then we eat, then only we go for the food. So. so this is just, now it's just this, but then I want to make it more elevation for the salad. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my remaining cherry tomato. Then we have some shives flour, which uh, I got it from Kohima. So, and then we obviously we have to have some more of the perilla seeds going around the salad. Then since we have a lot of now is the time for mangoes the season is there for mangoes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this local mangoes which I just got it and then in which is called a scooper so I'm gonna Hate doing in the kitchen. Uh, there's nothing to hate. Uh, for at first, when I was learning to cook and everything, washing the dish was the hate most thing. But now, as I've been doing it for the past more than 10, 13 years, so it, I came to the realization that 
if we do the cooking then we have to do the cleaning also so I, I don't think there is nothing you hate in the kitchen when you really love the kitchen you don't have anything to hate about it uh, one dish which I have never cooked is it's a it's a dessert it's a Turkish dessert called baklava so baklava is uh, basically layers of um, filo sheets and uh, it's it's a very uh, it's a very nice dessert which you have filo pastry then you bake it but I have never tried it so I would definitely want to try that So guys, uh, the food is ready. 